behind me, you can see the actual tower itself. The whole structure is actually held together uh, in tension. This is one of the worries with this structure is what happens when we take the tension off on one side because the tension on all the cables is keeping everything square and together. We're going to cut these two. I'll probably take more on the front side. Cut a single cut out here and then this back one, uh, as the tower goes over, should bend. Uh, angle iron's got a lot less strength when you bend it down rather than bend it out. Okay, so uh, we're going to use this back and, and have that as a hinge point. Let's now go and have a look at the guide wires uh, on the western side. As I say, we're going to shoot the western side and try and lay it to the east. These are the uh, guide wires that are near the bottom tower. There's three points uh, of which the guide wires are actually anchored into the ground. And you can see them coming down here and they go to triangular plates which then go to C-channel uh, which is then held in concrete. Okay, the C-channel at the bottom here is what we're going to cut. And we're looking at the back end of it at the moment. So what I'm, we're going to have to do to turn this into a plate is cut out the sides on the C-channel so we can put a shape charge cross there and cut it. We're starting to prep the charges now uh, on the initiating system and what we're going to do first is cut the uh, deck core to length and crimp on the uh, AAP3 uh, boosters. So let's put a crimp on there which is a little bit below where the booster is and I'll rotate it around put another crimp further on. I'm pushing it on to the deck cord all the time like that. We're using this 8 gram stinger here which is an even bigger booster and it's going to be mated in with the explosive here and you can see it's about the same size and what this will do is make sure it starts properly even if you've got a slight gap this is enough oomph to get it going. Now when we insert the uh, small AAP3 booster into the stinger here uh, what we have to do is make sure that's all the way in and it's going to go to about this depth here. Okay. Um, and it takes a lot of pressure. I've always found a couple that weren't all the way in. See, if I've got it like that, you might think it's all the way in, but it's not. There's going to be a gap of that much, and that puts into question whether it's going to fire. So, when we do this, we always make sure these are in all the way so we have explosive contact to explosive. This one's a bit tricky, and we're working in water. We want to keep that shape charge out of the water, but those foam standoffs will provide the necessary cut. We can see Karen and Laurie setting the charges and they're using wire to hold them in place. Now these shape charges only have to be held in place until the point of firing because the process of the shape charge formation is so fast that it really doesn't matter. Okay so this is separated and we need to make sure it's still in intimate context. We're gonna add a little bit extra tape to make sure that stays put. Push, push it up good and tight. There we go. We're going to need to check the rest of our charges to make sure they're in good shape too. As we're rolling out the deck cord to make a ring main, it's going to be in a big circle. So it actually goes all the way around and gives us a redundant path. Well, we've dropped the tower, and what we have to do now is go in and check out and clear any misfired charges or anything like that. And it's something that's very, very important to do so that nobody else is put at risk. So as the tower came down, it actually bowed because the middle was coming down faster than the top. 
This shows you how precise shaped charges are. We're only 10 foot from the base of the tower here and these windows in this door are still intact. Super clean cut. In fact, the other end of this piece is probably a good memento for one of the students. Well, everything looks good and it's the end of the day and it's time to go home. We checked the site out and picked up everything for all our stuff. And I think this is a job well done, guys. Congratulations.